All right, so I am here to show you how to draw a um, adult side view wolf, simple side view. I'm not going to show you how to color and all that. This is my character, Zaya. Um, she's my fursona, and she's all mine, I love her. Um, anyways, this is her now. She's 16, not 16, in doggy years. She's only two in doggy years. Um, over here is her um, pup version which is kind of cute, but I need to work on pups because it still doesn't look too good. Um, so yeah, alright, so I'm going to be teaching you how to basically draw the outline for this kind of a thing. I'm not going to use Zaya, but I'm going to show you. Anyways, alright, so, first obviously paper, paper is good, yes, don't wind up drawing on the table like I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't need to show them that, that's my little sister, she's recording for me. Um, and then I've got a pencil. Doesn't matter what kind you use, as long as you're comfortable with it. Um, mine's point three. It's an engineer's pencil or whatever it's called. Drafting pencil. Lol, lol, lol. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, so pretty much um, how I used to draw was I used to have the wolf's um, face already depicted in my mind. And I already, I still do that, but now I always do actually a circle. So we're gonna do that first, a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes I do my circles like that. Although that doesn't always turn out too good. Sometimes I do my circles like squares or triangles too. That never works. Um, but anyways, so um, I would say you just start out with a little line, straight line. Whichever direction you want them facing, do it that way. So if you want them up, then that way. Cause this is gonna be the forehead, the head, top of the skull. Okay. And then you're going to go straight down, well not straight down, but a little curve like this. And then another little curve in, because remember there's another eye over here. And then there's going to be another one here, but still. Okay, so anyways. Alright, so then there's going to be this subtle little curve in the muzzle, like this. I know it's really, really subtle, but remember they also have very long muzzles. Um, okay, now we're at the nose, right over here, the tip of the nose. Okay, so then when we get there, we're going to do a gradual... Well, actually a rather abrupt curve down. And then if you're a perfectionist like me, you'd want to bring in the nose just about a centimeter or so, because remember, it's not like stuck onto the wolf. Okay, it is, but it's like not just, it's not like it's eye. It's not, yeah, good term, Rachel. It's not like it's glued. <laughs> um, so then we're gonna move in and then going to curve in again. All right, here's your smile. We're gonna make the wolf face smiling because he likes to smile, because he's happy all the time. All right, and then we're gonna go back up to the nose. You don't have to do it in this particular order, whatever's easiest for you, but this is how I do it. And then remember they have wet noses, so there's gonna be a little reflection, a little shine, no matter how little light there is, but there will be. So there's our little shine. And here's going to be a crevice along the nose because, and it's gonna curve a little. I would recommend keeping this as light as possible because otherwise it looks kind of funky. Um, and so you're going to, remember this is your wolf's left side and then over here is your right side. So this right here, all this space right here that I'm coloring in a little bit, is um, the middle. Okay, so now we're going back down to the right below the muzzle. Now go in just a tiny, tiny bit, like at tops, like an inch. and then. We're going to curve down a little bit, and I don't know if you want to do this, but there, I always, on my wolves, I always put a little, um, a little scruff right here. And then you want to curve in a little bit because there's a little bit of cartilage, like, right here. But, and I would not recommend putting that there, but if you want to, you can. Um, but I'm just showing you. Um, just like if you've got a dog, or even a cat, or something like that, some four-legged furry animal, mammal, um, <laughs> you're going to see that they have kind of a, if you poke the bottom of their throat, it kind of goes in. Yes, I've done that with my dog. It's not abuse. Um, <laughs> so now I'm going to curve down some more. And then we're going to start practicing with how the fur sits and such. Remember they're wild animals and their fur will be kind of funky and like all over the place a little bit. So, just all over the place. And remember, sometimes, you know, it's okay to erase things that you've already done, even if they look really good. You'll find something better if you get the right anatomy. 
Um, so over here, I'm already back here at the neck. Um, alright, so 